All right, so I had a question. What is water fasting? Okay, water fasting is very simply fasting, not eating, and only drinking water. No coffee, no tea, no vitamins, no minerals, no gum, no salt. Nothing except water, okay? Now, do I recommend this? No. Uh, I recommend taking vitamins and minerals and sea salt, and you can do some coffee and tea, simply because you may not have the reserve of nutrients in your body to draw from. And when you're fasting, you're not eating and you're not getting nutrients, um, you can have an electrolyte balance, you can create an issue with the heart. So unless you know what you're doing and your nutrition's been excellent for years, um, I recommend taking vitamins and minerals. But this video, I'm just answering a question, what is water fasting, okay? Now, the type of water that you drink is also very important. I highly recommend you don't do tap water, okay? Because that is the chlorine, that is the fluoride, that has drugs in there, chemicals, pesticides, and all sorts of other disgusting things. Either get a really good filter to pull out the chemicals, including the fluoride, or drink spring water that is bottled. Now, should you drink distilled? Not if you're not taking minerals because distilled water can deplete some of your minerals. And if you're new at this and you go into this already deficient in minerals, and then you do distilled water without minerals, that can create a severe deficiency. Now, whether you do a strict water fast or the type of fasting that I recommend with the nutrients, after three days, you will not have any hunger you will have a ton of energy. You're, you're gonna have a lot of other benefits, but you're gonna be very surprised, like I'm not even hungry, yet I'm not eating. That's because your body is running off your fat fuel. It's a very interesting but weird thing because you would think you'd be exhausted and you're starving, but no, you'll have no hunger, which makes it very easy to do. Uh, but that being said, I do recommend going into fasting, starting with intermittent fasting, and then slowly graduating so your body can adapt to less frequent meals, to the point where you can do periodic prolonged fasting for uh, two days, um, three days, and even longer. Because the benefits are over the top massive. Um, let's go through the benefits. One is you get to express a gene called BDNF. This is a protein that gets activated and it stands for brain-derived neurotrophic factor. This protein, which is also stimulated by exercise, causes your body to produce more brain cells. I mean, if you have memory problems, cognitive issues, I mean, wouldn't you want more brain cells? I mean, this is amazing, especially if your focus isn't that great, your concentration sucks, or you, you're starting to go in a room and like, what am I, where did I go in there for? Where are my keys? You wanna increase this right here. Number two, antioxidant pool. You start to make more antioxidants to start in the repair process, because your body makes antioxidants, but it's stimulated in a big way when you do fasting. Next one, you actually make more mitochondria. These are the energy factories that give you energy. This is why you get more energy when you do fasting. Maybe not initially, but after you adapt, your energy will just start going up. Next thing is autophagy. Autophagy is a condition whereby your body is recycling old damaged proteins and cleaning up the microbes that it should not be there. So when you do fasting, it kicks on certain genes that then trigger this chain reaction of taking all this old damaged protein, putting it into a recycling mechanism with all these enzymes and pushing out new proteins and also using some of this for energy. So this is a real important um, recycling mechanism to help in the repair cycle. So fasting is really important in repairing tissue, increasing longevity, and fixing old damaged proteins. This is why your skin looks better, you look younger. Uh, next one, you decrease insulin. Now, of course, if you're decreasing insulin, you're, you're not bringing insulin down to such a, a level that is dangerous. You're just normalizing the excess, okay? Um, because you're also fixing insulin resistance, which creates more insulin. So if you have pre-existing blood sugar problems or you're diabetic, this is going to be very, very, very vital. But when you decrease insulin, you improve so many body problems. It's not funny because this is connected to fatty liver. It's connected to diabetes, metabolic syndrome, 
high blood pressure, and the list goes on and on. You also recycle nutrients. So the amount or quantity of nutrients you need are much less. Next thing is you increase the resistance to stress. This is one of the reasons why they're also recommending fasting to people on chemotherapy because the fasting strengthens the cell to external stresses. Your cells become tough. Next thing, it decreases your risk of getting tumors uh, and polyps and even cancer. Next thing is decreasing inflammation, inappropriate inflammation, uh, autoimmune conditions, allergies, arthritis, big time. And lastly, it will cause your body to run on ketones. Okay, about 40% of the fuel will be ketones. The rest will be uh, mostly fatty acids and then a little bit of glucose, but that can be made by your own body. Okay, your body can make it out of protein and fat. You don't need to consume any glucose. Um, ketones are interesting because let's say, for example, you're, you're a diabetic and your heart is damaged and you have heart tissue that doesn't easily accept the fuel glucose. Okay. Well, ketones can bypass that whole thing and feed the heart tissue directly and your heart thrives on ketones. Same thing with the brain. Let's say you have Alzheimer's, Parkinson's, or um, insulin resistance. And the cells in the brain cannot readily absorb glucose. Well, guess what? Ketones bypass that whole thing and get right in there and feed the brain directly. So it gets fuel immediately. So it can feed damaged tissues. Ketones are the preferred fuel of the brain. Your brain loves ketones. Okay, if given the choice between glucose and ketones, it'll take ketones. Ketones are a much cleaner fuel without the excess waste that glucose brings. All right, guys, that's my long answer to what is water fasting. Hey, if you're liking this content, please subscribe now, and I will actually keep you updated on future videos.